I'm Debbie Heather Davis and welcome back to babylady.co.uk where welcome to our YouTube uh, watchers and welcome to our Facebook watchers we are doing a series of interactive videos where we show you the benefits of some of our most popular push chairs in case you can't come to store and see them for yourself so this is the beautiful Quinny VNC Quinny always have done they've been famous for doing quite stunning quite quirky looking push chairs and this is no different but it it just works so brilliantly I absolutely love this. I think it's the best thing they've developed in years. I um, I just really think it's very, very cleverly thought out. Everything does a reason and it just looks great. It is designed for all types of lifestyles. Um, you can maneuver it down the street really, really easily. It's just beautiful to push. You can also take it out and about with you. It is. They do say that it is actually suitable to go off road in various different positions. Um, it does have suspension. Uh, there is a bag. This is the bag. Uh, I'm going to take this away here we'll have a look at that in a minute but then i can show you the suspension can you see that suspension it's got great suspension and it really is beautiful to push it's so light it it literally turns on itself uh, i was very i was very surprised how beautiful this is to push for something that's designed to be rugged and hard wearing so uh, if we measure the carry pot handle the handle not the carry pot handle the handle of the push chair handle rather we will see that it's quite high so it would be suitable for all types of people you can adjust it but when we measured it it actually measures about 107 high which is good for taller people obviously it is adjustable the other thing that's quite important with this is the kick bar there's no kick bar here and a lot of people who are taller do say that when you're walking, if you've got a longer stride, then you tend to kick the bar. If there's a bar there, it's not so relevant for me. I'm only little at five foot two without my heels. Uh, but if you are taller, that would be quite important. I also really like the braking system on this. It's a pump on and a pump off. Pump on, pump off. Very, very easy to use if you've got open toed. Uh, sandals or flip-flops it wouldn't cause you a problem i love the design of the wheels on this it, part of what makes this funky is it really looks quite uh off-road quite uh terrainy but actually it's very light they're foam filled tires so they're not going to puncture you're not going to have an issue with that there's gorgeous detailing on the handle this handle is actually soft it's almost like it's got foam in it and we're going to close up in a minute you'll see this textured graphite sort of um uh it's it's triangles but it just looks really really funky and it's also the same design geometric is the word i was looking for <laughs> couldn't think of it uh on this on the bumper bar here as well so this is our carry cot and it's nicely padded and i really like the fact uh, it's suitable for overnight sleeping but i like the fact that you can actually remove completely the head section liner and wash it i haven't seen that on any other push chairs you can take the liners out but not just a head section which makes it a lot easier to keep it clean. You can still put your um, sheet over your mattress and this is your mattress. It's a good size, as you can see, that should last you six months, uh, which is much better for your baby to keep them laying flat longer. Those of you who've seen some of my other videos know how absolutely important it is to keep your baby flat as long as you can. It's better for their breathing, it's better for their digestion, and it's recommended by all sorts of uh, medical experts. So the hood is made of this really soft, uh, malleable uh, ooh, I don't even know what you call this it's very very soft but it also has this really useful adjustable hood so you can make it longer and it gives you more protection which is great for the summer at the back here if we turn it round you'll also see we've got this great ventilation today is absolutely gorgeous it's 24 degrees it's going to be 24 degrees if it's that sort of weather when you're watching this video ventilation is going to be quite important to you and quite relevant and I like the fact that it's got little magnets actually attached in here that just hook over and it just keeps it in place. It's just the detailing. It's the level of detailing that they've gone to in this that I think is very special. We can put that back together again. Now, you do normally reuse your carry cot hood from your carry cot onto, our push, onto your push chair, but I've actually got an extra one and I'm going to show you how to attach it. If you wanted to take your carry cot off, there are two ways of doing it. At the moment, it's on risers and adapters, which makes it nice and close to you. It means that you've got lots of contact with your baby and they're nice and close to you. If you want to take it off, you can either take it off by pressing these buttons at the top here and lifting it off these adapters completely. 
like so, or you can also just pop it back on. Take this adapter out. You press it, and it will remember. Remember, and you can lift it like that. And you can leave these on. They're perfectly safe to leave on your carry cot. So let's have a closer look at our chassis. I say it is a gorgeous chassis. We're going to show you a picture. Uh, we're going to input a picture when we print this video. We've actually tried this in the boot of a Toyota Igo this morning because some reviewers said actually it's very big and very bulky. And we were like, mm, if you take the wheels off, actually, we don't think it is. So we actually managed to get this in the boot of a small car this morning, um, and we'll show you that. So if you do have a small car, please don't be put off. You can still get this product. You would have to take the wheels off. And obviously, if you have a small car, sometimes you do have to make compromises if you want something that's a little bit more robust. So these adapters also come out, and we'll pop them down there for now. And as you can see, have a closer look at our basket. It's a very well-designed basket, and it does give you lots of space. And I really like this secret pocket here. So there's a little magnet, again, in this pocket to hold it together. And inside here, I've got our car seat adapters so they wouldn't fall out. You could also put your purse, you could put, um, gosh, I don't know, anything you wanted to keep safe, your phone or something, you could put in this pocket. Um, and it's nice and soft and easy to get to. So and then we can attach a Maxi Cozy car seat. Um, I'm going to use the Pebble Plus because... Uh, Pebble Pro actually, it's my favourite, and it's nice and easy to pop onto our chassis just like this, and you can see it's easy and it just looks great. So to take it off our chassis, two buttons like this, and we just lift it out, and again we can pop that back, and do watch my videos uh, separately on the Pebble Pro um, if you wanted to be able to um, know how to fit that in the car. So I'm going to show you how to fold it up. Um, we have to take these out, um, as you don't have to take them out, but it makes it better. Um, we did go earlier and tell you about the brake. So I'm going to put the brake on, just because when you're folding this up, it does make it a little bit easier. It's quite clever. On the handle here, we've got a hat, we've got a squeezy button, which allows us to adjust the height of the handle. Uh, I think we measured this earlier, it was 107 centimetres, so it's quite a high handle. But in order to fold it, we have to squeeze it and press the button here. And you'll see that it very neatly just folds down. Sorry, I've got that. I'm just going to move the carry cot out of the way because that's just getting in the way. As you can see how easily that folded down. Now, we did some videos earlier. We did some photographing earlier because we were told, actually, before we did this, that this is quite a bulky chassis. It's very light. It weighs 11 kilos, but it does feel very, very light. And it wouldn't go into small cars. And we thought, well... Okay, we never take no for an answer, do we? So we thought we would try it. So we've had this in the back of a Toyota Igo. Now, um, I don't know if many of you know, it is quite a small boot in a Toyota Igo. We have found that some things, we've got two, two staff here, one with a Toyota Igo and one with a Fiat 500, which is really good practice to show people how these fit in the car. We did have to take the wheels off, but we managed to get this and the seat unit in the back of the Toyota Igo. And the Toyota Igo boot is actually slightly smaller than the Fiat 500. So don't be put off. If you really love it and you want it, then you can still have it. So when we, when we put this back up, um, to do it, you actually have to nudge this slightly together. So when you do it, you press it and you actually nudge it and then it will come up. Um, so you've got to sort of push it in before it goes up. And then obviously our handle will come back up and we can adjust it. We can take our brake off um, and then we can just adjust the height of it and bring it back up to wherever we want. So now I'm going to put the seat unit on. So we're going to put the hood on and some of you have said that you really like the information we give you when we show you how to fit some of these things, particularly if you're doing it at home and you don't have someone there to do it for you. So to fit the hood, there are five different places you have to attach it. There's two at the bottom where you slide these pieces on, two at the sides that you clip in and one at the top which you actually push down. Now you put your bottom pieces and slide them in so that they're on like that. And then, I'm not quite sure which order you're supposed to do this in, whether you're supposed to do the top one or the middle ones, but uh, we'll sort of experiment. You clip the top one in, and you can actually hear it clip, and then there are two at the side here, and they sort of locate. You just have to move the fabric a little bit to make sure they are also in place, and then it should fit quite nicely. While we're on the back here, just so that you can see, your adjustment here is to adjust the height of your pushchair. 
And this has actually got six different adjustments, which is quite unusual because most seat units only have three. Um, so it does give you more versatility. We can also take out of our carry cot the bumper bar and you can then use your bumper bar also on your seat unit because we do find that quite a lot of children like a bumper bar on your seat unit. And that will just fit in. I turn it around, you can just locate it. To take it out of the carry cot, if you couldn't see what I was doing, there's two buttons here. And again, it fits in nice and easily. We've also got an adjustable foot plate like this. So you can adjust the height of the foot plate for your child. And it has an ergonomically reclinable seat unit. So as your baby grows, you can adjust it. It's forward and um, it's parent and forward facing. So you can take this off and turn it round. There are two buttons here, just press them and lift, press and lift. This one's a little bit stiff. And you can turn it around. Just locate those into there. And again, then you can have it forward facing when your child gets a little bit older and wants to see what's going on. It does have an adjustable hood. We looked at this when we looked at the carry cot, but again, you can see it's going to give you a lot of coverage if you're out and about. And we still have our lovely ventilation piece with the little um, magnets. So on a day like today, you can open this up and give lots of ventilation so your child doesn't get overheated. So this is the Quinny VNC. This is, I say, the graphite colour, which is my favourite colour. But there are other colours available. Do check them out on our website at babylady.co.uk. And if you do have any more questions on this product, do feel free to message us and we will try and answer them for you. Thank you for watching today.